Hello YouTube and welcome finally back to another video. Now this video is going to be a random mix of uh, Dakacraft updates, like the server that I play on, uh, my channel updates, like what we're going to be doing, and we're going to start off at the K spawn uh, on the Dakacraft server with the build team update. So the build team for the Dakacraft server doing some really really cool stuff. We're working on an Assassin's Creed 4 themed spawn plot. Plot is 404 by 404 blocks. It's a lot. It's uh, I think it's 100, 404. It might be bigger actually. Not much bigger, but slightly bigger. Maybe like 409, 411, something like that. It's a massive plot anyway. Pretty cool. Uh, lots of stuff's been happening. As you can see, it's still in progress. There's still floating stuff everywhere. Uh, they've got a nice little fort over here, and it comes through a jungle and a big farm with lots of different stuff going on um and yeah there's lots of cool interesting stuff going on if you want to be part of the build team and help them with this project that they're on uh, you can go to the dakacraft forums which is dakacraft.engine.com and you can uh, sign up there um it's down to the build team if you get in you know we've got like a little lighthouse and a little fishing island over here um i think they're about 60 percent done so far about 60 percent Maybe a bit more. Um, we've got a little native camp over here with a temple and stuff, so it's really cool. And uh, the thing that they've just finished is this amazing pirate town. And just the, the feel down here when you're walking around is so cool. I'm not going to go in detail. If you want to come explore it yourself, then you, you know, you're just going to have to come around. You can see they're using the uh, dirt snow and stuff. Just check out some of these buildings here. Invisible fire, which is why I'm getting set on fire there. Lots of interesting stuff, got a random cannon, you know, really, really cool um, things that these guys are coming up with, and we've got some nice big ships. We've also got some of the large Dakar ships floating up in the air that the, the build team have sort of updated and adapted and stuff. But yeah, so if you want to come and help out the build team, uh, when this plot is done, I think Lord Dakar is planning on doing a video, like a f full series, like, you know, touring each little section we've got a pirate town there's a little fishing town there's a another village over there and then there's going to be the main city is going to be up here i think that's what they're moving on to once everything else is done that's going to be like the final thing they do you've got the native camp you've got three no two jungles that they're going to be doing there's a huge cave system you've got this volcano and stuff it's going to be really really cool to see it when it's finally complete that's it for the uh, sort of build team update remember if you want to join the build team um yeah i think there is a rank minimum rank requirement now i think it might be lord um but yeah so we'll get on to the next section so the next thing i want to talk about is the backcraft server and there's been quite a lot of changes in the last well the last two months i'd say uh, we've had staff changes uh, with like new admins, new moderators, some admins leaving, some moderators leaving, so we had to get new ones in. Um, then we have changed quite a lot of the way the server is sort of ran. You know, the way is we have now got modern world. So if I do slash warp ls, you can see we've got some modern plots, and these are your first, like, you know, the first lot of plots that you get for modern. So you've got LS is lower school, then you have MS, middle school, and HS, high school. So, you know, all modern, you've got there. So if you want to build modern, you come onto these worlds. If you want to build in uh, medieval, in conquest, then you, you do slash warp V. Now V stands for village. The next one up is town, the next one up is city. Then the last one is kingdom, which is slash warp K. And slash warp K brings you back to the build team plot that we were just on um so yeah it's all that going on really really cool also down here we, we really enjoyed this this is one of the members on the build team just you know pirate drowning half drowning <laughs> yeah um so yeah so there's all that going on we've changed the warps not only have we changed the warps we've changed uh ranks so people complained that we had a few too many ranks so we we took a couple out um and we changed the requirements over and if we do slash spawn or slash warp spawn also works then you come here so this is the new spawn now this is only temporary 
um, to sort of give everybody the information in a condensed area. Uh, the build team want to create a new spawn at some point when they've finished with that pirate plot. So we've got medieval stuff, modern stuff. So if you're a modern builder, you're going to go in that direction. Uh, since most people who watch my videos, I'm guessing are medieval, we're going to stick to the medieval side. We've also got admin moderator down there. Uh, rule board. Also, yeah, read the rules. Check the rules. We also have like uh, TB, PB, M. So, like, you know, uh, let's just read this one. No advertising servers or other projects. Um, punishment for advertising M. So, mute. So, you know, just read those. Make sure you understand the rules because people are complaining when, you know, they get banned or stuff. And if you break the rules, that's what's going to happen. So, we have new ranks. So, let's just go in this one. New ranks. So the new ranks are Squire, Knight, Lord, Duke, King, and Legend. Um, so, you know, the Squire rank is your first rank. Then you go up, 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 and up. So this green rank, the Duke rank, is the equivalent of what was Architect. We did have the Architect rank, so that is now the equivalent of the Duke rank. Um, and it does take it is quite hard to actually get here so this room here tells you how many plots you're allowed with each rank um, and then this room over here tells you what you need to get that rank so to get squire you need a 6 out of 10 plot uh, 6 out of 10 v plot smallest plots it used to be 5 out of 10 when we had the old ranks now it's 6 out of 10 and this knight the second rank it used to be 8 out of 10 it's now 10 out of 10 so you can see we have um, boosted up those things like the scores that you need to get also this spawn was made with default resource pack so if it looks a bit weird in conquest that, that's why uh, so there's a lot of this to come check out as well if you need to get updated with that uh, we have a hall of fame at the moment only reality is in the hall of fame he is closest to the highest rank so he's there um we're going to be having competition soon um uh, the first competition that I'm trying to set up uh, is going to be a Halloween themed competition. There's going to be a video uh, in the next week or two explaining more about that when it actually starts. Uh, the winner is going to get put on a little pedestal in here and the plot is going to be showcased somewhere. I'm not too sure where yet. We also have our reviewers room. We have nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. We have nine medieval reviewers now. No, we don't. We have eight. Ugh. We have eight medieval reviews. We we're thinking of getting a ninth, I think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember if we're happy or not. But yeah, so we've got all these guys are the reviewers. If you were wondering who's reviewed your plot, you know, because we just leave coloured wool blocks everywhere. Um, you know, the coloured wool underneath the heads and the names, that's who was reviewing your plot. So if it's red, it would have been reality. If it was blue, it would have been me. Uh, so yeah, that's nice and easy to understand. And then down here, I forgot what this room is people with high ranks so this probably actually needs updating which i need to do and keep on top of so once you get to the duke rank your name gets put on the board once you get to king and legend i also need to change these clays uh, then your name gets put on the board uh, and important warps so important warps are slash warp village or slash warp v uh, you know all the plot world warps uh, build battle warp uh, slash warp styles uh, we're actually changing that uh, and then you know got all of Lord Dacus builds and all of my builds um, for YouTube series purposes and then we've got like two walls there that are empty that you know we've got lots that we can do with uh, so that's kind of like all the server stuff and uh, if I do slash warp V uh, I do feel like I might need to explain this for people who do play on the server you may have noticed over the last couple of days that we have uh, an obsidian red road and some of the plots near spawn have different colored borders so what we're doing is we're doing all the different styles that we can think of that we feel are significantly different from one another so we've got all our uh, far eastern styles in this red border so they've got chinese japanese i think this is indonesian and then we've got like a few other ones there might be like a hindu one you can't see because i've got my chat turned off uh Orange is American styles, so Wild West, we've got Pirate, there's going to be Inca and Aztec and all that stuff. Um, this is a really awesome plot, this is like a Native American Pueblo. Uh, apparently from like the Californian Mexican border area is where you'd find these, I guess. 
Um, yellow, uh, sandstone, is quite obvious. It's just Middle Eastern style. So this is the Arabic style plot. Uh, we've also got Egypt and stuff like that. You can see that they're empty and they're doing. The white quartz is the fantasy styles and Killer High has gone crazy with the elven styles. This is his high elven one, looking really, really nice. And he'd done this plot with Hollow Angel. This is the wood elf and I'm obsessed with this plot. And I think I may be doing a series soon in a very similar style. I'm not going to copy it completely, but I'm using this for lots of inspiration. Um, getting lots of ideas from that. Uh, this is a Gondor one I'm working on currently in progress uh, and there's lots of other styles so if you're ever stuck for a style like you don't know what to build you know when it's complete you should be able to warp here run around fly around uh, oh black as well dark oak are european styles so gothic uh spanish over here italian roman viking Celt celtic you know lots of different things going on uh, and if you need to know the plot you stand over it, do slash PI, and it will tell you the style, and then the helpers will be the people who built that style. So if you wanted to say, um, oh, I wonder what a good, uh, let's let's just say Japanese plot, because we're nowhere near that side. So let's say what, what does a good Japanese plot look like? Do PH Japanese, and then fly instead of jumping up and down, and there you go, you got the Japanese plot. If you do slash PH Gothic, then there you go, we're over at the Gothic plot. Uh, if you want to do another style, PH Dwarven, you go over to the door. Oh, empty space. But yeah, you get the idea. Once it's, once it's done, it's going to be really, really cool and really, really helpful, we think. Um, if you want to build a style, you do need to be a really good builder. These plots need to be at least 9 out of 10. Uh, you can either build a concept uh, on one of your plots and that will show us that um, you know you you know what you're doing with the style you are really good uh, you're only going to be able to do one style at a time this is currently only been for build team members admins and moderators to build on uh, to try and get a few more done I'm going to try and invite some of you guys to do it but if I if I say no you're not allowed don't don't get disheartened don't don't worry um, it's just we are trying to make these like best as we can um, to give everybody inspiration and tips and stuff like that lots of interesting new styles come in um, new not new styles new sort of building techniques and new just things in general that from you know just yeah it's good <laughs> uh, you get lots of new ideas there's a steampunk one over here is there anything I, I can't really explain what I'm trying to say but it, it's good anyway um, yeah if you want to build a style build a small concept you don't have to build a plot but on one of your own plots build a concept of the building or something of the style and if i think it's good enough i will add you to the style plot and you can have a go at building it but if it does turn out pretty bad um we will either get a few people to jump on and help you with the plot or we will just reset the plot and somebody else will be doing it uh, it is going to be pretty brutal when it comes to that so um we can you know give you the plot if you wanted to continue to work on it but it won't be staying at the styles area um i think we've got oh yeah uh competition halloween competition i think i've mentioned that there's going to be another video so we'll leave that for a couple of weeks time uh my channel that's what we've got left to talk about uh, my YouTube channel, so it's been a while since I've uploaded properly um, Tomorrow and Friday I'm going to be uh, up, Not uploading, recording like crazy, editing like crazy I'm just going to be like record, render, record, render uh, And just try to get quite a lot out Now what I want to do is finish the Egyptian series, finish the Inca series And finish the Wildling series Because I think they're quite small, they're quite doable um, Hobbit I think I might just give up on it. It's such an old plot. Uh, I know a lot of people like it and a lot of people like the style, but it's just been dragging on for too long and I've been building that plot for over a year now and I've just kind of lost the feeling and like, you know, the, the motivation to build that. And I want to move on to other styles and new styles. Um, Lake Town, I think it's just going to be a case of when I get inspiration to build that again. 
I might record the odd video randomly, but it's going to be more of a an update every now and then, like, hey, look, this is what has happened, this is what's changed. Uh, the Wild West, that's, I don't know, it's going to be, again, it'll just be like three or four episodes in a flurry are going to come out every couple of months. That's what I'm going to try and do. So it does get finished, but it's not going to be a main focus or main priority for the time being. Um, hopefully, we can finish the Egyptian one um, in the next week or two. The Inca one and the Wildling one might take two or three weeks, but hopefully by November, mid-November, I'm aiming to have those three series finished, and then we can start on some other ones. I've already recorded a series to, uh, from start to finish that needs to be uh, rendered and uploaded. Uh, I'm not going to let you know what that is yet. Uh, some people probably already know on the server. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, so then we're going to get onto new stuff like building the uh, elven plot building. I want to do dwarven. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get away from my usual. I want to get more into the fantasy styles. I tend to go for classic medieval European. Well, I, I think that I do. You know, I try to build it too realistically. I want to get more into fantasy and floaty things and things that don't make sense but look awesome. So that's what I'm going to try and push myself into in the next couple of months. Uh, hopefully by this by by Christmas New Year um, we're gonna have a, new, a set of two or three new series going um, yeah it's been quite a long episode but I've talked about quite a lot of things um, if I've missed anything out then put a comment down below and let me know or if you have got any questions you can put a comment below or go to the Dakcraft forums and send me a message or something like that um, apart from that I think that's all I've got to talk about. Yeah, so that's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, you're looking forward to the new uploads that I'm going to be doing um, starting tomorrow. See, I've, I'm promising myself now, so it's starting tomorrow. So I'm going to be recording, rendering, uploading, recording, rendering, recording, rendering, uploading. Kind of that sort of schedule so that I'm not... So that I do have, like, you know, an episode or so behind. Anyway, uh, I'm just blabbering on a bit now, so... Uh, if you're enjoying, if you're enjoying the series, this isn't a series. What am I saying? If you're looking forward to all the new content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.